Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. IRS quickly moves forward with taxpayer service improvements. 4,000 hired to provide more help to people during 2023 tax season on phones. 4,000 new people? Yeah, I, I don't know, IRS. I mean, that's a lot of new mouths to feed, you know? And I'm just not sure I can afford it given the current state of the economy, inflation and everything. I mean, I, I hate to do this, IRS, I really do. But as the bread earner in this relationship, I feel I must put my foot down on this one. What's, what's that, IRS? You now armed the 4,000 new mouths and implemented instructions to break my foot if it ever hits the floor? That, that's outrageous. This is mutiny, dang it. <laughs> Just kidding. Honestly. The IRS moves forward quickly, huh? I, I mean, I don't know about you, but I haven't been able to contact anybody by phone over there for like the last three years. But whatever. First a joke. Bad news travels fast. Good news has a moderate speed. Good news, everyone. Uh-oh, I don't like the sound of that. You'll be making a delivery to the planet Trisol. Here it comes. A mysterious world in the darkest depths of the Forbidden Zone. Fake news starts out slow due to President Biden's sleeping schedule. Get yourself a good sharp steak. Drive it right through his heart. Oh! You better get yourself a garlic t-shirt, buddy. Or it's your funeral. But man, there sure is a lot of it. I Great. The blood-sucking Brady Bunch. It's like a zombie in one of those horror movies. I think I should warn you all. No two bloodsuckers go out the same way. Some yell and scream, some go quietly. You look at it and are like, wow, that thing is horrifying. Some explode, some implode, but all will try to take you with them. But it's way too slow to be able to eat my brain or anything. And then all of a sudden, there's like 10,000 of them slowly marching after you. Holy shit, Empire Hotel. And that's when you have to start cracking lying zombie skulls. Metaphorically speaking, of course. Good night, blood sucker. No! IR 2022-191, October 27, 2022, Washington. The Internal Revenue Service announced today significant progress to prepare for the 2023 tax filing season as the agency passed a milestone of hiring 4,000 new customer service representatives to help answer phones and provide other services. These assisters have been hired over the last several months and are being trained to provide help to taxpayers, including answering phone questions. This is part of a much wider IRS improvement effort tied to the Inflation Reduction Act funding approved in August. I mean, honestly, the Inflation Reduction Act. I'm not complaining about hiring more people to answer the phones because clearly they have an issue with that over there at the IRS. But is that have anything to do with like reducing inflation? I mean, it's almost like they wanted to spend a whole bunch of money and then they didn't think they could do it or get approval for it. So they called this thing Inflation Reduction Act, which is a total lie. So they could spend a bunch of money, which is probably going to increase inflation, not decrease. I mean, it's, it's okay. It's okay. I'm, go I'm just going to go forward here. The IRS continues working hard on implementing the landmark 10-year legislation and updates on other improvement areas will be provided in the near future. Quote, the IRS is fully committed to providing the best service possible and we are moving quickly to use new funding to help taxpayers during the busy tax season, end quote, said IRS Commissioner Chuck Reddick. Sounds good. I'll believe it when I see it, though. Put that money to work somewhere you know, useful, possibly, it'd be nice. Quote, our phone lines have been simply overwhelmed during the pandemic. That's true. I have no, <laughs> that's a true statement. Okay. And we have been unable to provide the help that IRS employees want to give and that the nation's taxpayers deserve. Yeah, I agree with that. But help is on the way for taxpayers. Okay. I'll believe it when I see it. As the newly hired employees are trained and move online in 2023, we will have more assisters on the phone than any time in recent history, end quote. Recent history, does that just mean the pandemic, like the last two years when basically half the IRS was closed? Can't be too difficult to clear that hurdle given the fact that, you know, they closed down 
good large parts of the IRS due to the social distancing law, but whatever, here we go. The customer service representatives being hired are in various stages of being onboarded. When they join the IRS, they will receive weeks of training to help serve people and improve the taxpayer experience. The training will cover a wide range of issues, including technical account management issues and understanding and respecting taxpayer rights. The goal is to add another 1,000 customer service representatives by the end of the year, bringing the total of new hires in this area to 5,000. Many employees will be in place for the start of the 2023 tax filing season. So obviously they want to ramp up before their busy season, uh, tax season 2023, re returns starting to be filed in by you know February and so on, due uh, in April 15th and whatnot. And others will join as their training is completed in the following weeks. Almost all of their training will be completed by the uh, President's Day 2023. Traditionally, the, the period when the IRS sees the highest phone volumes, the IRS anticipates phones will be answered at a much higher level during the 2023 filing season. I should hope so. It shouldn't be that. I mean, it should be pretty, pretty easy to clear that hurdle, given the fact that you could have been on hold for like three months last year. So in the last two years, really. So in any case, hopefully they, they do better on that. It used to be that they were just trying to fix their website. They would just be like, well, just go to the website. But a lot of people, you know, aren't as proficient on the website and need to talk to someone. But in any case, IRS improvements uh, and use of the new direct hire authority have speeded the hiring process. Uh, this year, these positions have been brought on since August. So last year, it took approximately eight months to hire customer service representatives. Quote, even though we have new hires in the pipeline, our phone lines remain extremely busy, end quote, Reddick said. Quote, we continue to urge people to first visit irs.gov for information related to their tax questions. So I think that's what their original goal kind of was, that they're going to just try to get everybody onto the website and so on. And they have improved the website too, but that's not going to take care of everyone, I don't think, at this point in time. We got a lot of people that aren't proficient with that to the level to do that. So many of the questions we receive can be answered online, providing faster answers for people than calling. We appreciate taxpayers continued patience with us. Please know that we have dedicated employees across the IRS working hard every day to help people on the phone and in person. IRS employees look forward to providing better service in the near future, end quote. In addition to the phone assisters, the IRS is also working to hire additional people through the agency, not just in the taxpayer service areas, but in information technology and compliance positions, all with a goal of improving the work uh, the IRS does. That's great. That's a, that's a pretty broad goal, though. You could get a little bit more specific. We're going to improve our work. It's like a mission statement that's not too specific there. But in any case, quote, IRS employees make a difference for our nation, and we're excited that we can add more people to serve taxpayers and support the critical work of tax administration, end quote. Reddick said, quote, positions will be open across the country in coming weeks and months, and we, and we encourage potential candidates to visit usajobs.gov to look for opportunities, end quote. So you might be able to get a you know government job there, hopefully the good benefits typically with a government job on the phone on the phone services. So you could check that out once again, usajobs.gov. And uh, there'll be, the, you, can, you can look it up here. There'll be links to whatever we said there were links here. And there'll be a link to this in the description.